Everyone knows that when you're traveling, if you don't get a good Insta shot, did you even go there? So we've got to get all the sunshine we can before we get off to England. Okay, so before we leave Sydney, finally, I wanted to do one last run around Sydney and see all of the main sites. So we thought our first stop of the day should be something Australia is known for. It is the iconic Coogee Beach. Now, most people know Bondi Beach. I like Coogee Beach better, so that's why we've started here. And you can actually walk a path from Coogee all the way to Bondi and have all of these beautiful coastal views along the whole way. Beautiful sandy beaches and like crystal clear blue waters and there's all ice cream shops around and it's a beautiful walk and a beautiful area and we've got such a good day so we've got to get all the sunshine we can before we get off to England. Everyone knows that when you're traveling if you don't get a good insta shot did you even go there? So I'm starting a new series on my channel which is the top Instagram spots all around whichever city we're in. Today it is Sydney so so our first Instagram spot is when you arrive at Coogee Bay. If you come to the left, you can have a view of the bay with this beautiful fence that you can then sit on, as seen as here. Bondi, which is the famous, most iconic place in Sydney other than the harbour. Um, we didn't do the walk today just because we don't have time, but you can do the walk and it is great. I've done it before. So this is the iconic place in Sydney. You can't really come to Sydney without going to Bondi. Um, it is currently May and you wouldn't believe it by how many people are on the beach and how nice the weather is in May, which is our winter. So you can go for a swim at Bondi, you can do surf lessons. There's all different, more shopping here than say Coogee. Um, so you've got like clothing shops, food shops, beautiful restaurants, lots of vegan food. Um, and they also film the TV show Bondi Rescue here. So if you swim here and you have some trouble, you might end up on TV, so. Iconic Instagram shop of Sydney, number two. So it is Bondi Beach. You can't go to Sydney without getting a photo of Bondi Beach. Um, so it's Bondi, not Bondi, as the Americans like to say. Um, so it has the beautiful green, green, beautiful blue waters, sandy beach. Um, we've come up onto the headland, which is the uh, Bondi Icebergs, which is an iconic spot for um, photography. Everyone comes here just to go to the RSL club. And it's free to enter if you're not from around here. So um, I think you pay to use the pools, but there's also the beach, it's free. to Circular Quay. Circular Quay is like a photographer's dream. You can't get a bad photo. There's all the major landmarks here. You have the Harbour Bridge, the Opera House, everything you needed to get that perfect Instagram shot. One of my favourite spots to see the Harbour Bridge from is actually called Opera Bar. Um, it is a bar which you can buy drinks at if you want, but um, you can sit here and get beautiful photos of the harbour, good for the Instagram, um, or you can splurge a little bit and pay a bit more, but use it free. Thank you. 
So we've come to our next Instagram spot. My favourite building in all of Sydney is actually this one, which is QVB, which stands for Queen Victoria Building. Um, it's essentially just an arcade of all these different um, more high-end, but to be honest, I've never shopped in them. They're very pricey, not my thing, but the architecture here is stunning and you can get some really nice photos with the traditional, more decorative design in the building. The stained glass panels everywhere, the big stained glass windows, the really glamorous staircases. Um, it's a photographer's dream. You can get so many nice pictures here. And if you feel so inclined, you can do some expensive shopping. My last Instagram spot for the Sydney CBD is Town Hall. It is on Town Hall Station, so it makes it very easy to get to. But I love Town Hall because once again, it is traditional architecture. It's all sandstone. It looks beautiful inside and out. You can actually go and see shows in there if you want to, but just to come back to the photos is more than enough for me. Um, it's by, I think, the nicest building in Sydney. So you can get some cool Instagram shots in and around the courtyard of it, as you can see here, here in here. The final stop on my Instagram tour of Sydney is much more urban, it's much more rustic, it's Newtown, it's just outside the Sydney CBD. You can just get on a train, it's like a few minutes on train, um, and it's this area that has cool restaurants, cafes, but has some really cool um, graffiti art all over the city, so you can come and get some really cool Instagrams, to, and they're very colourful and very creative, and you won't get anything else like it, so definitely come out to Newtown, and these are the images you can get. So I hope this video has helped make you and your Instagram a bit more interesting and given you a few more ideas on how to get the perfect Instagram photo so you can go brag to your entire family when you get home. Um, make sure you hit subscribe so I can see you next time because this will be the last time in Sydney. I'll be moving to Melbourne. Melbourne? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'll be moving to London. This is the first time I've heard of it. <laughs> it's, right. it's been a long day. <laughs> Alright, subscribe. Bye.